They're not just armored boats. They're the next generation of amphibious warfighting, amphibious combat vehicles, or ACVS, built by BAE Systems to replace the Vietnam-era AAV-7. ACVS are designed first and foremost to get Marines from ship to shore safely, fast, and ready to fight. An ACV hauls a full squad, 13 Marines plus a three-person crew, all protected by an upgraded hull that resists mine blasts and small arms fire. Its hybrid of mobility and protection lets it punch through surf, sprint across sand, and keep moving under fire. Inside, digital battle management links put commanders and crews on the same picture. Live feeds, shared targeting, and secure comms make each vehicle a moving node on the modern battlefield. But ACV is a family, not a single truck. The ACVC command variant becomes a mobile headquarters with multi-display stations and hardened networks. The ACV-30 brings heavy direct fire with a 30mm cannon, giving Marines organic firepower in contested littoral. Recovery, medevac, and logistics variants round out a platform built for all domain operations, sea, shore, and inland. That's why the Marine Corps brought these vehicles to Camp Pendleton for the 250th birthday rehearsal. This isn't parade practice, it's a validation. Formation, beach landings, rapid debarkation, and beachhead maneuvers that test the ACV's core promises, speed, protection, and connectivity. More than 200 ACVS are already in service, rolling out lessons learned from decades of amphibious ops and modern combat. For 250 years, the Marines have defined expeditionary power. From raids to full-scale assaults, they've adapted to changing threats. And now the ACV is the latest chapter. It's not just a new vehicle, it's a statement. The Corps will still project power from the sea, but it will do so with smarter, tougher, and more networked machines, ready for the contested shores of tomorrow.